In this tutorial, I will demonstrate how to create a learning path on Google Slides and share it to Seesaw and Google Classroom. Providing pupils with a learning path allows for a self-directed and self-paced learner experience. For the purpose of this demonstration, I will use Google Slides to create a template for our learning paths. To create our learning path, we add color to the background, insert text boxes, shapes, arrows, and other symbols as necessary. Learning paths can have any amount of content. As you can see, these templates have eight pieces of content, six pieces of content, and four pieces of content. These templates can quickly be copied and changed to be used for other learning paths in the future. The next step is to add content to each section of the learning path. Here is a long multiplication learning path that I have nearly finished. When the pupils click on each of the images, they will be taken to the relevant links. The first section is a warm up activity on times tables. After this, the pupil views the video tutorial from the CJ Fallon website that will provide instruction on long multiplication. The third box is an activity sheet for some offline work and I will now add an extension activity from Khan Academy that challenges the pupils further with three digit by two digit long multiplication. To insert an image we navigate to insert, image and search the web. Here we search for Khan Academy logo, insert the image, resize it and drag it into place. I now have to apply a link to that image. To apply a link to the Khan Academy image, you select the image and click this insert link button from your toolbar. Paste the link in and when the students click on this link, they'll be taken to a tutorial video on the Khan Academy website on three digit by two digit numbers. Before I upload this slide to the learning platform, I must change the share settings so that anyone with the link can view. To do this, we click on share. We click change. And we want to change it to anyone with the link. We also make sure that it is in view only mode or viewer mode. Copy the link and click done. To share your learning path on Seesaw, it is best to create an activity. Here is a pre-filled activity on long multiplication, two digit by two digit. I will upload the Google slide or the learning template as a multimedia example to direct the pupils learning. At this stage, it is very important to open up the caption feature and paste in the link to the Google Slides. To do this, we navigate back to our Google Slides, click the share button, copy the link, navigate back to Seesaw and paste the link in. I will now add a very basic template for pupils to demonstrate their understanding of long multiplication. For the final page, I will prompt them to upload an image of the work that they created in their copybook. I can now save the activity and assign it to my class. We will now take a look at this from a student's view. In the student view, this is how the activity appears, where the pupil can view the instructions. To view the learning path, the pupil clicks on the example, clicks on the link, 
and then visits each link in order. Once the pupil has visited each link and understands the concept of long multiplication two digit by two digit and has completed some offline work in their copy book, they can navigate back to Seesaw and add a response on the template provided. Then they submit for teacher feedback. Here is an example of a pre-filled assignment on Google Classroom. I will now add the Google Slides to the assignment from my Google Drive. Make sure that it, it is in view only mode for the students. You can also add a due date and organize it under a topic and assign it to your class. We will now take a look at this from a student's view. This is how the assignment appears for students. They click on their long multiplication assignment, click on view assignment, open up the slides. Here they will navigate to each of the links, view the tutorial, complete some offline work, and also view an extension activity for extra support if needed. Once they have navigated through those links in that work, they return to their assignment, add their answers via the different Google apps here, and mark as done to submit for feedback for the teacher.